NATO, but not many people would describe the Turkish government as an American ally. Instead, it's an ally of Russia. Russia and Turkey work together in Syria very closely. Turkey is buying billions in Russian military equipment. And that doesn't mean a lot for America alone. It also means a lot for CNN, because if Turkey is a Russian ally, then CNN is a Russian ally too. Why? Because CNN operates CNN Turk, which is a mouthpiece for the Turkish government and its pro-Russian policies. CNN makes a lot of money from this. They won't tell us how much, but a lot. CNN Turk is basically a propaganda outlet for the Erdogan government and Vladimir Putin. This is obviously a troubling national security development. Russia essentially has hacked our cable news system. Ominous. We contacted CNN today to ask once again if they plan to cut ties with CNN Turk. They have not responded. Maybe they're waiting for Putin to wake up so they can ask him what to do. Putin, Russia, CNN! George Soros is a billionaire, but somehow his own money isn't enough to fund the totality of his anti-American agenda. So, U.S. taxpayers had to step into the breach and help as well, and they did. Department of Justice documents newly obtained by Judicial Watch, thank heaven, show that in 2016, the Obama administration, whose misdeeds are now just coming to light, gave almost $9 million to support something called the East-West Management Institute. That's a Soros-funded venture. According to Judicial Watch, the money did little other than empower the socialist government of Albania, which spends a lot of time making its people more miserable. Tom Fitton is the president of Judicial Watch, and he joins us tonight. One of the reasons I'm so glad that you're here, Tom, is because you kind of tie a bow on stories. The Obama administration's over, but there's a lot that they did that we don't know anything about because the press refused to cover those stories. Tell us this small piece of it. What did they do in Albania and why? Well, they're supporting the socialist communist government there, uh, the Soros operations, and they're doing it with taxpayer dollars. They were doing it in 2016. And they were even doing it in the first part of the Trump administration in 2017, co-sponsoring surveys of the population that generated 91% of the support in favor of the pro-government, pro-Soros operation that would have restricted the independence of the judiciary. You know, like all strongman governments, they don't like independent judiciaries. Right. So they were trying to reform the judiciary in a way that would have brought it under control of the socialist government there. And what's troubling is that obviously Soros needs no taxpayer money to do any of this advocacy work, uh, but the State Department and USAID is partnering with Soros uh, and basically s allowing Soros to set our foreign policy agenda. And then secondly, Soros' operations, according to these documents, were allowed to come into the State Department and provide technical reviews of other applications for other government money in Albania. But, I mean, George Soros hates the United States, and I'm judging that by the projects that he funds, all of which are designed to change the country as it is now or to thwart U.S. interests. So why in the world would any State Department give money to a Soros-funded operation? Well, it's not only in Albania. We have four, had four lawsuits at one point. Albania, Romania, he's active in Hungary, Guatemala, Colombia. Uh, they're very, very active, and it doesn't take a lot of money. Uh, to have a big impact in these countries and the governments are under assault from the Soros State Department unity effort uh, to bring socialism and stop anything in the area of reform, constitutionalism, the sort of things that Americans would be comfortable with, the Soros groups aren't. And you know, look, he's a billionaire. He doesn't need the money and when you fund him in one place it means he has more money to spend elsewhere. So if you don't like what Soros is doing here at home, you should know it's being indirectly subsidized thanks to the State Department and USAID, at least as early as, at least as soon, as long ago as 2016. So Soros is getting State Department money, Planned Parenthood, which is an arm of the Democratic Party, gets a half a billion a year in taxpayer funds. Is there any right of center or pro-America group that gets any taxpayer funding of any kind? Well, I think most of them don't think to ask for it. Uh, but uh, certainly the State Department is not terribly interested in funding groups that are antagonistic to their agenda abroad. And this is kind of another way for the State Department to stick it to the Trump administration. Yeah. Because some of this activity was taking place in early 2017, again, attacking the idea of an independent judiciary in Albania. It's, this is your tax dollars at work, and we had to sue to get the records. The more you know, the more appalling it is. And thank you for.